guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you a tutorial using the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette. I just got it today and I was like, yes, I'm filming right now. So I have a bare face to start and I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona Face Glow Primer. This stuff is really new for me. I have only used it once, but so far so good. It's really thick and feels just like a moisturizer actually. So after I am done priming, I'm going to go in with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade shade uh, Light 4, <laughs> my bad. And I'm just going to dab that all over my face and then blend it out using my Beauty Blender. You guys, I used so many new products in this video, you're going to like poop your pants when you see all the stuff I used. You're going to be so proud of me, hopefully. <laughs> So anyways, I took some loose powder and just packed it on this pimple that I have on my chin so that it stays really full coverage and none of the foundation comes off of it or anything without having to pack concealer on it. Anyways, now I am concealing using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair and I'm putting that on my under eyes, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. This is going to really help to brighten my face and bring light to it. Of course, I'm going to blend that out using a beauty blender, a damp one. And now I'm going to take the e.l.f. blush brush and set my under eyes with the loose translucent Laura Mercier setting powder. And then I started priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oh my god, it's not the paint pot. Are you guys like, is your mind blown right now? Anyways, I'm just smearing that on using my fingers and then immediately setting it with the Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder as I'm sure you could have seen that coming. Now I'm just going to do my brows and I'm using just a black shadow because I don't have any black brow products as I've said before, but that works just fine. So the star of the show, I'm finally, I'm so excited to be able to use this, the Pastel Goth Palette by Kat Von D. I'm going to start going in with the shade uh, Clementine with the MAC 217 and I'm just going to kind of carve out the socket of my eye. This isn't necessarily in my crease because I have hooded eyes. So I'm just going literally by the socket of my eye, like looking down and seeing where the socket of my eye is, if you understand what I'm saying. And I'm going to blend that out using the Luxie 231 blending brush. And then I'm going to take the shade Star from the palette, and this is actually a Japanese brush. It came in a brush set. And I'm going to go directly under the shade Clementine. And I really kind of created a halo with this and diffused Clementine into Star or vice versa. Then I went back in with the shade Clementine to just define it a little bit more. And now I'm taking the shade Clementine and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line starting in the middle, working it back and forth. Then I took the shade Star once again and did the exact same thing that I did on the upper part except for kind of reverse because you know what I mean. So I took a black, or just kidding, a brown shade from the Morphe 35O. Could be any brown shadow. I just used that because, you know, it's got um, so many of them. This is just to define the eyes. It wasn't like anything pertinent to the look. So now I'm using um, the Balm Schwing Black Liner to create a wing. And I haven't done a wing in a really long time. Now I'm putting some mascara on with the Balm Mad Lash and then put some uh, lashes on. They were the Just Johnny B by Worldwide Lashes. Now I'm bronzing with the Makeup Forever bronzer in the shade 151. Oh my god, it's not Park Ave Princess. Are you guys dying? <laughs> now I'm going to highlight using the Mary Luminizer by the Balm. And this is like the OG highlighter, you guys. So good. Now I'm using... The Alchemist palette by Kat Von D, so gorgeous. And this is the shade Pink Opal that I went into. And I'm just going to put that on top of the Mary Luminizer to give it a kind of like brightening pinky look. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints blush. I think this is new actually. And I went in with that second shade in the palette. It's very um, like corally, orangey, really went with the look. And I like the way it turned out. And this is the Maybelline Infallible, um, or I think it's that. It's it's the new Maybelline Nudes Collection, and this is the shade Beige Babe. And on top of that, I decided to go in with the Too Faced uh, Peach Oil Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Peach Peachsicle. Obsessed with this, like, so much. I love it. And then I set my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Never used that before. Alright you guys, so that's the end of the look. Hopefully you like the way it turned out <laughs> and you will give it a try. If you do, 
tag me in it. Tag me in Instagram, send me a Snapchat, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!